Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Frank Messer, along with the scooter Phil Rizzuto. We'll be joined later by Bill White on a beautiful, beautiful fall day here in Fenway Park. Phil Rizzuto, this is something I've never been through. You've never been through. A one-game playoff to decide the American League Eastern Division champion. It's a shame it has to come down to that, Frank, really. I mean, they're two great teams, and to finish with 99 wins, both of them, in one year, it's got to be fantastic. You know, it was 30 years ago, almost to the day, actually, it was October 4th, when the only other playoff was here, and Bob Lemon was involved in that one, too, and that time he was a player. He was a player, so was Al Rosen, who is now the president of the Yankees. And as I recall, the Cleveland Indians won that ball game here right. from the Boston Red Sox. What about this afternoon's game, Scooter? The Yankees are going with Ron Guidry, again starting with only three days rest. Well, if history repeats itself, the Yankees should win because the Indians went with a left-hander, Gene Bearden, and the Red Sox went with a right-handed Denny Galehouse. At that time, Joe McCarthy was managing, and Galehouse was the only pitcher to volunteer to pitch that playoff game. And I remember talking to McCarthy later on. He had been the Yankee manager. I played under Joe, and he was very upset. But there were some other starters who he thought were better than Galehouse, but Galehouse wanted to pitch, and unfortunately, he lost to the Indians. All right on paper, the Yankees, Guidry, a better record for the year than the Red Sox, Mike Torres, who really is not the number one pitcher on that staff, and that is not to say that he might not go out this afternoon and pitch a no-hitter. I think uh, perhaps season records have little to do with this one ball game. You're absolutely right, Frank. Most of the times, you can throw the records right out the window. The only uh, thing in the Yankees' favor, I think, is that Torres, through his career, whatever team he's been with, has only defeated the Yankees one time and lost to them five times. Now, this is a big pressure ball game. We know that Ron Guidry, as a kid, seems to have ice water flowing through his veins. On the other hand, Torres, very excitable Latin type, and uh, if things happen early in the ball game, we've seen it can get to him. So I think both clubs have to get to the starting pitches early, otherwise it's going to be a very low-scoring game. All right, again, traditionally, the Yankees this year have not been a club to come from behind that often. The Red Sox have been a club that can come from behind. My thought is, if you get on the scoreboard first here, if the Yankees get on the scoreboard first, they could be in pretty good shape. I think you're right, Frank, and that's one reason I'm uh, happy that the Yankees are leading off in this ball game, and of course, Mickey Rivers, the big man for the Yankees, unfortunately he didn't get on against the Indians in the game they lost, but if he can start things off, we'll see a ball game. We'll see a lot of excitement. All right, another point, Bill. The Yankees are playing without their regular second baseman, Willie Randolph, acclaimed by most experts as one of the best, if not the best, in the American League. By the same token, the Red Sox are playing without their regular third baseman, Butch Hobson, who is their designated hitter but can't throw. Well, I don't think either position is going to be hurt too much defensively. I think uh, Brian Doyle covers a lot of ground. The kid can make the double play. He's not nearly as good a hitter, we know, as Willie Randolph. And uh, Brohammer, the same uh, way. He can field third base. He can't hit, but they do have Hobson in the lineup. He's the designated hitter, whereas the Yankees are going to miss Willie altogether. All right, what about emotions for this ball game? Uh, I visited the Yankee clubhouse briefly and uh, thought of a, an air of quiet anticipation. There, the guys trying to relax, but I, you know, I don't see how anybody could really relax before this game. You can't, Frank. I know. First game uh, before any World Series, I wouldn't sleep all night. We never had playoffs in those days. I'm sure a lot of the Yankee ball players had very restless nights. The Red Sox, of course, got a reprieve, never thinking they'd be in this playoffs, thinking that the Yankees were going to sweep Cleveland and win the pennant. All right, and we'll be all set for this very important ball game when we come back in just one minute.